Yeah, I think it's safe to say old man winter is here all over our country right now as we get to mid-December. Let's start with the radiator fluid. We need to really protect that from the colder temps of winter. And I somewhat like the Prestone 5050 radiator antifreeze and coolant. It's ready to go. All you have to do is pour it in. All set. Now something I know I take for granted on my personal vehicle are the wiper blades. If your wiper blades are streaking, squeaking, not doing the right job, change them now before the weather gets worse. And once you change them, normal maintenance schedule, just change them every six months. You'll be all set there. You need to raise the hood and look at the battery connections. If you're starting to see some of that powdery corrosion, that's going to hurt the crank into the car. Just take a steel brush and just clean that corrosion. You'll be all set there. Also, as the temps get colder during the winter, the oil in the engine, it actually gets thicker, makes it harder for the engine to turn over. You need to pay close attention to what type of oil you're using for the regular oil change. I personally like the Formula Shell 10W30 engine oil. Well, I think we sometimes forget that the tires are the most important thing on the car. It's what connects it to the roadway. And yeah, as the temps come down during winter, you start to lose air pressure in the tires. A good rule of thumb is for every 10 degrees that the temp drops outside, you're going to lose about a pound of air pressure. So if you were driving around in the summer and it was 80 degrees, and now in the winter it's 20, you've lost 6 to 7 pounds. That's 20 to 25 percent of air pressure you've lost in the tires, which is not good for the performance. You can open the door jam of the car and there's a label that will give you the recommended tire pressure for your tires. Now one way you can monitor that air pressure is go to Home Depot, purchase the Husky Digital Tire Gauge, digital readout, lighted display, Husky items at Home Depot, all lifetime guarantee. Another little bit of insurance year round, the Aerosol Roadside Fix a flat. Keep that can. If you find that you've got a flat tire, maybe not laying on the rim, you can use it and buy you enough time to at least get to the repair shop to get that tire fixed. I think there's things that you need in your trunk like the fix a flat year round, not just during the winter. I would start with a set of jumper cables. That could certainly help you or maybe help someone else that's stranded with a dead battery. The Orion Roadside Emergency Kit, it has things like cable ties, duct tape, a first aid kit. It has flares. It even has a fluorescent vest you can put on if you're broke down near the edge of the road at night. Always have a flashlight. It never fails. The batteries are dead, so always make sure you have the Duracell Quantum batteries. You have additional of those where you can put them in that flashlight. But as far as add to this kit for winter, I like a piece of board maybe. You can put underneath a tire to gain some traction to pull your way out of ice or snow. And I call it my little survival kit. Snacks, water, gloves, maybe even a blanket to wrap up in until someone comes and retrieves you. Yeah, for information, go to homedepot.com. A lot of information there, but while you're shopping at the local Home Depot, maybe you're shopping there for holiday decorations or things to winterize your home, everything I just spoke about and then some, it's available right there at Home Depot as well. It's like one-stop shopping for your home and for your automobile.